I didn't want people to know that I was depressed because I was already that kid people like to pick on. So why would I try even more to get picked on by appearing like some weak person with depression? Like, why would I do that? So as you can tell by the title, this is going to be another um, Let's Talk where I go into different subjects about whatever the fuck I want to talk about. So today we're going to be talking about my depression. And if you don't know... Um, Original, my original di diagnosis was depression with psychotic features, and that would have stayed if I hadn't started experiencing different, um, different uh, types of moods like mania, which is an increased, uh, in simple terms, an increasement of happiness in a person. So I would experience both depression and mania, and that's not exactly something that happens to someone who is diagnosed with depression. Because when one is diagnosed with depression, it's having a depressed mood for a while, maybe a couple weeks to a month, even in some cases for multiple months, and, and even in some cases, dysthymia, which is a form of um, depression that isn't as intense, but is very um, continuous. It, it occurs through a longer period of time. Someone who is depressed doesn't all of a sudden get super happy for no apparent reason. If they get happy for no apparent reason, incredibly happy, then that leads to another form of um, diagnosis. So I've experienced both depression and mania, but today I'm going to be talking more about my depression. So if you don't know anything about me, I have two anxiety disorders and a psychotic disorder on the schizophrenia spectrum. I like to keep things a little bit vague when I talk about my psychotic disorder because we're still adjusting we're still learning it's gonna take a while for me to get a actual diagnosis that um, applies to everything that i'm experiencing because a lot of the time when it comes to my anxiety disorders like ocd it kind of melds in with my um, psychotic disorder and the psychosis that comes from my psychotic disorder so that's a that's something anyway so my depression i can't recall much about my depression a part of my um Part of my mental illness is the fact that it's very hard for me to remember things clearly, and a lot of the times I remember them differently than they actually happened. This can lead me to be very, let's say, hard to work with when it comes to things like schoolwork or you know, doing chores or helping out around the house. Because the way that I remember how someone said something could be completely different than what they actually meant or what they really said. It is a bit harder for long-term memories, but it does affect my short-term memories where I, I just do something and it's gone. Um, that's why I like to keep a little notes on the side of my screen so that whenever I'm trailing off and not knowing what I'm going to be talking about, I can always refer back to those notes. And I had no idea. <laughs> this is ironic. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, depression was really, really hard on me because I experienced extreme hopelessness and expressed uh, very hostile, not hostile, but very prevalent suicide thoughts, suicidal thoughts. And that's not something exactly that I like to say with pride. Because every time I hear, because this was back in the day, not back in the day, like a year ago, when people were like, oh my gosh, I failed my chem exam, I'm gonna kill myself, or the, or, and, you know, stuff like that, or, oh my gosh, all I had for breakfast was a couple of eggs, I'm gonna kill myself, you know, because high schoolers, I, I was in high school last year, and they do stupid shit, they say stupid shit like that, and I didn't want to be another, I didn't want to be like them, so I denied my own, I denied my depression because I didn't want to seem like another fucking kid who's just squirming for attention so i chose to ignore it i chose to move on i chose to i did my best to try and choose happiness when a lot of the time choosing happiness isn't a solution choosing to keep moving despite what you're feeling that is a solution keep moving i don't know where i'm going with this <laughs> but my depression wasn't really I want to say debilitating until the, I want to say freshman, junior, freshman to junior year in high school. It's been very rocky with me because uh, I'm a very awkward kid and I do a lot of awkward shit. So 
when it comes down to it, I've gotten in a fair amount of awkward situations that lead me to completely regret what I've done. So an example of that would be when I met one of my high school bullies who would, you know, simple things like steal things from me, take my stuff, snatch my glasses out of my face and then start running around the gym, um, taking my shoes and um, tying them up on the the thing, what is it called, the basketball hoop and uh, stuff like that, pushing me around, calling me names, simple stuff, not, not really bad stuff. Well, I mean, well, yeah, it was bad, but when it comes down to it, I wasn't I wasn't horribly bullied. It's just stupid kids being stupid kids. And anyway, so I didn't exactly have the most stable um, emotional mind when it came to those events. I would often lash out. I would often get angry. And when I tell the teachers, or at least when I told my PE teacher, she was like, you got to deal with your own problems. And I was like, oh, all right. <laughs> So I never brought it up again. And she, and I remember I, my bully had thrown my uh, shoe, shoes and tied my shoelaces to the hoop of the basketball hoop. And I go up to my PE teacher and I'm like, hey, coach, um, could you help me out here? And she's like, you got to you got to deal with your own problems. So from that point on, I didn't ask her for help. I didn't ask her for anything because, you know. If the teacher's going to act like that, why would I continue to go for, for help? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I legitimately have no idea where I was going with that. But yeah, um, I didn't want people to know that I was depressed because I was already that kid people like to pick on. So why would I try even more to get picked on by appearing like some weak person with depression? Like, why would I do that? But uh, yeah, I mean... I was put on Lexapro for a while, didn't work, so I went on to Venlafaxine, uh, didn't work, and now I'm on Sertraline, or Zoloft, or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I don't take a lot of pride in being depressed. I know some people do, but I don't. My classmates would tell me how depressed they were, and me sitting over here feeling so helpless that I want to kill myself, can't, can't, can't fathom what it's like to just sit there and be like oh my god i want to kill myself <sighs> but yeah i don't know what's going with that i i ran out of my notes so anyway hope you all enjoyed and um if you're in an emergency i have emergency links down below so check them out if you're in an emergency and i also have my social media links down below check them out you can dm me i'm always open to talk so hope you all enjoyed I'll catch you in the next one. Ohui ho, malama pono.